All right, welcome back. Uh, in our last couple of videos, we set up uh, our GNS3. We got that all set up and installed. Uh, we also, in another video, we downloaded VirtualBox, got that ready to go. And then we also installed GNS3 VMware so we can run applications within GNS3. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at installing Aruba CX within VirtualBox through GNS3. Um, there's going to be a lot of different steps we've got to go through, but it is pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll walk you through everything, and if we have any errors or anything, we're going to try to work through all those. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to GNS3. Uh, make sure you ha are logged into your account, and we are going to go to the Marketplace. And then we're going to go to Applications, and then we're just going to look up Aruba. This right here, this Aruba OS CX simulation software is what we will need. You're going to download this puppy. So that's what you're going to need down there. Once it gets downloaded, these are all the different versions uh, you can use. Um, if you actually want to use one of these certain versions, you can download this straight from Aruba. If you are going to be doing that, though, you need to make sure you have your Aruba or HP username and password um, because otherwise you will not be able to get these uh, these files. Uh, there are UVA files is what they are. Basically, it's the exact same code that is loaded on the switches. Um, so if you do not have a switch in your, in your corporation, in your company, uh, to be able to get that switch, you probably will not be able to download the image. Um, I'm sure there's other ways you can download that, be resourceful. Um, Know, to be able to get this but that's the most simplest way is just download it right here I already have one downloaded so we will be using that I won't be stepping through this but just to show you it'll just send you to the Aruba portal this is what you're gonna get and then you're just gonna go software um, and switches that's where you're gonna be looking and these are the actual switches that you're gonna be looking for uh, to download so we can go switch software switch um, let's just do 10.7 OVA, yeah, so there we go. So this is what we would be looking for, something like this says OVA. Um, then you'd log in, download it, and then you'd be ready to go. All right, so after you have your uh, Aruba CX image downloaded, you're gonna get this OVA file. Um, I've already downloaded it. This is on a uh, flash drive right now. Um, so if you go in here, this is what you're, you're gonna get. You're gonna get the SIG file and you're gonna get an OVA file. Now you can't actually import this directly into GNS3. You need to right click on it um, and say extract. You can extract here or wherever you want it, but you basically, you need to extract it and you're going to be getting this uh, OVF file and this M or VMDK file. And this is what we'll need. So I moved this onto my desktop because last time I tried doing this from my USB drive, it crashed. So we're just going to put it on my hard drive. That way it hopefully will load a little bit better. To do this, to actually install it, you're going to be going up here to file, go to import. Um, you're going to be going to this Aruba uh, OSCX GNS3A file that we downloaded from GNS3. And you click on that, install, next, and then next. Um, in here, you're going to be looking for uh, your version that you have downloaded. If you do not have one of these versions here, we're going to create a new version since we are running uh, 07004. We're going to change that. We are actually going to change this name and make it the exact same as what is here. HP. And once we have this, we are going to actually import in the VMDK file. So let's find that. So it's going to import it. All right. Once it's imported, it should be say, say ready to install. You can actually see here it says it's found on GNS3 VMware, which is where we uh, installed this in VirtualBox. 
just click on that, hit next, and install. Yep, it's going to tell you that there's no password, so we're just going to hit finish, and it is in there. So now when we click on the little uh, arrows over here, you're going to see you have this uh, Aruba OS CX simulation. That is what you need. You just drop that in, right click, start, you on the console real quick. It is going to boot up. So we're just going to give this a little bit and it should boot up and we should have it loaded. All right, it is fully loaded up. Let's log in here and make sure that we can get in. There we go. We are in the switch. We are ready to go. And that should be it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this or if this helped you guys out, please give it a like and a follow. Uh, I'll try to post more videos like this and actually get into more of the switch configurations on uh, Aruba CX switches as well as some of the extreme switches as well.